Great to see you all again. Can we do something fun, Bucks? <laughs> mm hmm Yes, of course. Today we're going to take a look at some satellites. Satellites? Don't they float around in space? But what do they do there, actually? Well, shall we have a look? We're going to travel to space together in our very own rocket. Yeah, we're going into space! Why don't we start again with a fun guessing game? Here are three pictures. Which of the three is a satellite? <laughs> the one in the middle, of course. What an easy game. But what about the other two? The one on the left is the moon. Yes, that's the moon. So it's not a satellite. The moon is a satellite, in fact. A natural satellite. You call something a satellite if it orbits around something like a planet. What's the picture on the right, then? The silver ball on the right is the Sputnik, the very first satellite that people sent to space. But satellites look different now, and they are able to do much more. It has wings! Yes, they look like wings. Does it fly with them, Box? <laughs> no, they are solar panels. Let's have a closer look at the satellite. Look, this is a nice one. That big box in the middle is called the bus. It holds, for example, the batteries, a computer, and thrusters. Thrusters? Yes, to help steer the satellite if it needs to change directions. And why is it gold? The gold is a sort of protective foil. In space, it can get very hot in the sunlight and terribly cold in the dark. The foil is a kind of insulating jacket which stops the equipment in the satellite from breaking down. And what were the wings? They are solar panels. When the satellite is launched, the solar panels are folded in. But once it's in the correct position, the panels come out. Now it gets solar energy from the sunlight and keeps it stored in batteries. That's how the satellite is powered. Because it's well equipped and works on solar energy, a satellite can keep working in space for many years. It's very well made, isn't it? Yes, it really is. And do you know how a satellite like that gets into space? In a rocket? In a pointed top of the rocket, there's a cargo space, and that's where the satellite is. When the rocket gets to space, the satellite is disconnected. Now they can get started with checking everything from Earth. The solar panels open out, and the equipment is switched on. This satellite is now going to orbit Earth. Sometimes, if you look carefully, you can see a very small light moving slowly across the sky. That's a satellite. We now have thousands of satellites that orbit around Earth. Well, that is a lot. And they all do something different. Many of the satellites that orbit Earth are used for communication. They make sure you can phone your grandma and grandpa, or that you can watch television programs from the other side of the world. Are there cameras on satellites too? Yes, many satellites have cameras. They look at how the oceans or forests are doing. But they also study the wind and the clouds and the temperature on Earth. That's how we are able to predict the weather. So we know when a storm is coming. 
Yes, thanks to satellites, we are able to warn people before a storm. So they sort of look after us. You could say that, yes. And we also use satellites to look at other planets. There are satellites that orbit around Mars and Jupiter. I've got something nice for you to guess here. It also has something to do with satellites. Oh, um... I see something grey. Right. And black. With a rough surface. Yes, very rough. Sort of rock. A rock. Hmm. In space. Oh, oh, is it a... Uh, what's it called again? A uh, comet. Ah, uh, yes. Is it a comet? Yes, well done. It's a comet. But what has that got to do with satellites, Box? Satellites don't just orbit Earth and other planets. Spacecrafts have also been sent to study comets and asteroids. With people in them? No, in spacecrafts called probes without people. Rosetta, for example. It also became a satellite because it was put into orbit around a comet. What did Rosetta do there? A lot of research. If you're able to keep orbiting around a comet, then you have plenty of time to take photographs and collect information. Rosetta also carried a small spaceship called Philae. It landed on the comet. It studied the planet and sent everything it discovered. Unfortunately, it was dark and it wasn't able to charge its battery. But thanks to Rosetta and Philae, we learned a great deal. We control satellites by sending them information. But satellites also send a lot of information back to us. How do you think they do that? Are the messages sent to Earth in little envelopes? Does the information go through long cables from the satellites? Or do we communicate using radio waves that are received by enormous satellite dishes? <laughs> it can't be the little envelopes. <laughs> And satellites are too far away for cables. Then it's the antenna. Yes, I think it's the dish antenna too. They can hear very well, I'm sure. Like a great big ear. That's right. Satellites send information by radio waves. And we pick it up with great big satellite dishes. These satellite antennas are spread out across the whole world in ground stations. They receive the information from satellites and send it to other places on Earth. <laughs> and do you know why it's so handy to investigate space from a satellite? Uh, because it's in space too? In the past, scientists could study the sky with their telescopes, but as soon as it got cloudy... They couldn't see anything! Exactly! They could only see properly when the weather was clear. If you're orbiting space, you're never bothered by clouds. Sometimes the telescopes in space can be bothered by light from the sun and the reflected light from the moon and earth. That's why there are also satellites that do their work much further away. For example, the Gaia Space Telescope. It orbits space more than a million kilometers from Earth. Whoa, that's far. And what does it do? Gaia is looking at our Milky Way to make a very precise map of it. And there are many more satellites and space telescopes that do all kinds of research and take impressive photographs of our universe. It's time to go home again. Oh, that's a pity. But we'll come back to space soon, won't we, Box? Yes, of course. We'll come back again soon. Bye-bye! Goodbye. Bye, space. See you soon. <laughs> Did you like it too, Peppa? Yes! That was a great journey through space. And do you remember all the things you learned? Um... Whoa. Ooh! 
Look, here you can see a man-made satellite. There are thousands of them orbiting around Earth. They have equipment on board like computers and cameras. And the wings are solar panels to generate electricity. Satellites study Earth and lots of other things in space. And we see far into the universe with space telescopes. Woohoo! Well, wasn't that a great journey? Yes! And next time we'll go there, or there, or there. <laughs> yes. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. See you all next time. Goodbye. Bye, Toby. Bye, Pepper. Bye, Box the Bear.